What's up guys, <laughs> Brandon and Jeremy here from FriendOfRC.com giving you our review, mostly Brandon's review because I know very little about it, of the PowerLab 8 RC battery charger. So there are a lot of chargers out there and it's, it seems like, you know, there's a mainstay like Hyperion, but once you get out of the Hyperion or um, uh, what's the brand in, in the hobby town? Uh, oh, like a passport. Passport, yeah. And hobby, sure. There's so many out there that it's hard to know what the hell you're even buying. Um, it seems like it's all repackaged stuff, different brand. Right. But you brought this to RC Nightmare and, you know, basically sold me on how awesome it was. So I'll let you lead in with the, te the technical uh, side of it and probably every other side of it as I just sit here and look pretty. <laughs> well, I'm going to go off what you said. This is not a, it's not a really well-known charger. If you're in the hobby quite a bit, it's probably not no surprise that you haven't heard of it. Only reason being is it's kind of a smaller company. Revelectrix is the brand that makes it. FMA is the one that sells it, FMA Direct. Um, and the only reason that it's not so popular is because it's a little more expensive than most. This thing retails about 250 for just the charger. You need a power supply with it. But the reason... Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Yeah, but you can put a lot of money into these, especially with the power supply. But the reason I got this is because of the power. There isn't a charger on the market that can charge faster than this one. It's got 1,344 watts. To put that in perspective, the next most powerful charger that RC Nightmare uses has about 300 some watts. How close is that to 1.21 gigawatts? Uh, it's really close. It's probably better. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Okay. Um, and so if you've got a ton of packs like we do, you want to parallel charge them all at once or you just have giant packs, this thing does them all in under an hour. It's got a few other features too that not a whole lot of chargers have. Um, I'll touch on them now. Regenerative discharge. That's kind of an odd term. If you like to discharge your packs, you hook them up to your lead here, you want to drain them for whatever reason. If I have this thing plugged into and powered off with your car battery, say, it will charge that battery. It'll take the energy from the packs, plug into huh. it, put it back in that charge battery so that it reuses the energy instead of just killing it. Alternatively, if you don't have a battery, it's got two huge cooling fans in the back, and it's got the biggest discharger built in that I know of. It's 100 watts of just discharging power. That means it can just bleed your battery current down. That's better than some RC cars have in them. Hmm. So again, if you're one that needs to cycle packs for testing purposes, you just got a ton of them, it has that regenerative discharge, really nice feature. You can discharge up to 40 amps. On top of that, balancing. Uh, most chargers, when the balancing feature, when they're charging up the packs, you got a cell that's a little behind, it'll stop, it'll drain that cell down to level off mm -hmm. and then continue on. This balancer unit actually is a charger within itself. So if there's a battery that's behind, it's giving it extra power to catch up. Really what that means to you guys is a lot less time. You're not waiting for the thing to balance. Mm -hmm. And it does it extremely quickly. So almost any light bulb I plug into this thing, less than a half hour fully charged. So when you're charging at the end, you're not waiting like you see with a lot of other chargers. At the end it's fully charged and then you're sitting there for how long waiting while it's balancing. This is doing it as it charges. So when it's done, it's done. Yeah, is that exactly. And it's because it's adding more juice to balance as it's charging that kills even more time off the end. So it's just it's exponentially faster. And mm -hmm. again, when you're hooking up large packs and you got a lot to lot to balance, you don't even notice the balance time because it's got that extra charger mm -hmm. built into the balancer. So then in terms of cost of operation, obviously you, you sort of touched on it. It's an expensive buy, mm -hmm. um, but how about the power supply that you need to run it? Is that is that any different than what you would normally see out there? Yeah, you, you can go pretty crazy in the power supply. So you can start out with your standard 12-volt power supply. We got one here that we use. I think it's a ProTech 12-volt. It will take up to, I think, 36 volts input. So you can actually buy two of these or 36-volt power supply. You can invest almost the same amount of money <laughs> into that if you'd like. I personally haven't because I always run it off a car battery mm -hmm. so that I happen to have around. So it kind of kills the cost operation if you have that way. But yeah, if you're someone who absolutely has to have the ability to plug into the wall, there's that hidden cost. You're going to put a lot into it if you want the full power out of the thing. So talk about then, we'll kind of convert our fun factor thing to basically making the assumption that only a nerd would buy this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so like, this is not for me or guys like me, a casual basher unless you just have unlimited funds and you want to just get your battery charged very quickly. Mm -hmm. Like the features that we that you showed me even with the software, that adds to what I think is like, obviously the fun factor is great because you can charge your batteries hella fast. Right. But you can also hook it up to your computer and get an enormous amount of data about your about your cells, and your discharge rates, all that sort of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got, in terms of, they call it CCS software. All that means is you plug it in your laptop and then you can open up these, all these graphs and tables and keep track of it. You can actually control the charger through your laptop. Hmm. So if you want to, you know, if you're doing some, I don't know, you're checking out your packs, you can do it all through the laptop, upgrade the firmware. 
if there's a new type of battery that comes out and this thing doesn't have the ability to charge it, you just ask Revelectrix for that upgrade in the firmware and they give it to you. I think they just did that recently with nickel zinc batteries. It's a type that someone wanted. Now it can charge it. So it just adds to the, I guess, the value and fun factor because you're never going to be limited. I bought this charger because really I know I'll probably never buy another charger again for the rest of my life for that reason. So basically nerd stuff. Yeah, a lot of nerd stuff. But that being said, if you're someone who is new to it like yourself, yeah. it does have automatic features. It auto 5C charge rates. So that means they'll charge your light bulbs in 20 minutes. And when I say auto, you plug in the battery, you hold down start, walk away. Mm -hmm. It's got smart charging. It checks the health of the cells. It charges them as fast as it can. You don't have to put in any information at all. It's as safe as plugging in your cell phone, let's say, and I think they even advertise that. Here's uh, something I'm noticing. You've got some uh, little fuses going on here. Is this a custom Brandon upgrade? Or no, is this, this is uh, Rev Electric's making sure that when you're doing 40 amps, you're well protected. So they have 40 amp fuses soldered right under the main leads. And interesting enough, even on the balance boards here, this little red strip that looks like red tape are actually resettable fuses. And so if you happen to mess up your balance connectors, and I have, I've done this once where I'm plugging in one size pack to here, and I happen to screw up the leads, I plug in the wrong size pack here, this red tape turns black to let you know that the fuse is blown and it saves you from destroying your pack. So Rev Electric's really taking the extra step hmm. to make sure there's no way you can screw it up and, and start a fire. Yeah, certainly next gen. So obviously, you know, no need to talk about performance because it obviously, it's one of those just high-end products that mm -hmm. is awesome. Like yeah. it does everything you want it to do. It sounds like the support is, is good. And nice. um, so other than that really just going whether or not you would go back and buy it again so i didn't buy it in the first place so i can't speak to it but mm -hmm. we use it with rc nightmare a lot and it's obviously you charge batteries so quick it feels like they're done in 10 minutes like it's it's unbelievable so yeah to speak on that a little bit to add to the value if you're someone again who has a lot of vehicles i just bought one new battery and that's all i needed because this thing charges so fast let's say that you get a new thunder power the new ones can 12 and charge in uh Five minutes or less. So now I'm so of crazy. buying two batteries. Suck on that nitro. Yeah, I put, <laughs> I put all my money in the charger. I can go and run my char run my truck, stick the battery back on, and the time it takes to you know go to the bathroom, my battery's done already. Five well, I was going to say smoke now. a cigarette, but we could we Whatever could we could go do, there. Yeah. We could go bathroom. Yeah, you can, you can go anywhere. You could take a nap, and your battery's going to be done. Mm. It's it's just amazing how fast it charges. So that allows me to put all my money into the unit instead of batteries and I only have to buy one battery now when I go and buy new packs. Yeah, that's really hidden value that people don't talk about or think about when they're buying this sort of stuff. I certainly didn't. And if you could see our, our RC Nightmare set right now, I think we have like, it seems like 15 2S LiPo 5,000 milliamp packs. Yeah. What a colossal waste of money. I mean, that right there is $700 in LiPos mm -hmm. when I should have just bought this. Yeah, and you two of them. <laughs> yeah, a ton of money. You know? Yeah, it's no joke. You put all your money in here mm -hmm. and save a lot of cost. And it's safer because you're not carrying around a whole bunch of lithium batteries with mm -hmm. you. I can bring my one pack drained, set up my charger, and while, while I'm setting up my truck, my battery's charging and it's done. Yeah, I know I always get a little squirrely on our shoots when I'm wearing the backpack uh, full of <laughs> 15 sticks of dynamite <laughs> like on my back. You got two full bags of light bulbs. Yeah. Here. Well, uh, if you have any questions about the uh, Power Lab 8 by Rev Electrics, Post them up on down below or shoot on over to our website at friendofrc.com. Thanks. Thanks, guys.